Hey everybody, welcome back to the Build Show Network. Steve Basic, architect here. I'm on location down in Columbia, Missouri, and today we're gonna talk about completing that red line air tightness test at the ceiling um, plane, All right? So we're down here, this is a house that my good friend Jake Bruton's building, we call it the Hilltop Arrow Project. You're gonna see a lot of this house because both Jake and I are on the Build Show Network, we're doing a bunch of these videos. but. One of the issues when you're building a house and trying to maintain what we call the red line test, and when we go back to the studio, I'll explain um, very clearly what that means. But basically, we're trying to get the air barrier to encompass all six sides of the box. Well, every house has what we call the lid or the ceiling, and so how do we seal off that lid? So this is my detail. We have an R9 zip wall that runs up the wall and basically goes to the top of the double top plate. Notice that we have a three quarter inch piece of Advantech there that extends about five inches past the wall. And that's intentional. That five inch flange, it goes back to the outside face of the wall and we basically seal that Advantech to the outside of the wall. So the, with the zip sheathing being my air barrier on the outside, it then connects to the tape, connects to the Advantech. So what you're looking at now is this interior flange that is part of my air barrier system. So what will happen is when the drywallers come, we'll run a couple beads of acoustical sealant along that flange, and then we'll push up the drywall against it. So basically what we have is that, you know that song, the ankle bones connected to the knee bone kind of thing? Well, here we have our exterior sheathings connected to the Advantech, the Advantech's connected to the acoustical sealant, Acoustical sealant's connected to the drywall. Drywall flies across the house and comes down the opposing wall. So we've completed that lid. A Couple other things of note. Notice that above our windows here, I like to use LVLs. We create a header pocket so that we can fully insulate the header location here. And then we have our strapping. The strapping here is on 12 inches on center. And that's just to give us more attachment for the drywall in that we're gonna pump this roof with about R60, R70 of cellulose, which is in like an 18 or 20 inch range. So it can start getting a little heavy. So that added attachment is a good thing. But anyways, let's jump back to the studio. We'll break out this detail. We'll use Big Red. He'll give us that really refined uh, definition of, of what we're doing in that detail. And we'll talk a little bit about it then. So see you back at the studio.